So anyway, we're gonna head south here on, on 41 because as you can see, it was it was starting to snow, and I mean, uh, I don't need to hassle. So it's 35 degrees. So you know, it was nice the other day. I, I'm glad I brought long pants just in case. And I probably should should have went ahead and and, um, and brought a pair of my denim, but it's good for now. So I think that's that's it for this little part of the clip. And by God, we'll, you'll hear me ramble on again. I just saw the course gold after my long rambling. I wanted to let the dog out and pee him and water him and pee myself. And <laughs> it's snowing. Oh, he's certainly not going to freeze the road or nothing, but... It's still March, and it's still California. I mean, you know, probably if you're in Los Angeles or the desert, it's 75 or 80 degrees, but a little bit up in the hills here, and it's still wintertime, so we'll press on and see what's next. Well, I'm heading down 41 here. I'm at Meadow Ridge Lane. I think I'm a little bit south of the casino, and you can see it's really fluffy right now. The well, I guess I wasn't just south of the casino. I was just north of the casino, so there you go. We're making the turn from uh, southbound, southbound, Southbound California 41 to uh, westbound California 145. It's going to take us through Madera and then we'll kind of, it's 3 o'clock, so we'll see kind of how we feel and what we're going to do. This is in Madera. Listen for the radar detector to beep and you'll see the cop. Picks up this guy's radar right here. You notice that? I'm turning from, um, California 145 South on Avenue 7. Now, I don't know where this goes, but, you know, I know I'm west of 99, I'm east of 5, and I'm north of State California Highway 180. So, I'll find something eventually. I, I'm not lost, I'm just out for a drive. Remembering what I said yesterday, that the journey... The journey is the journey. So there you go. Well, somehow I, uh, I'm not quite where I thought I was. It's not like it matters, but I, turns out I've been east of 99. And, you know, my radar detector has uh, a compass on it. I've got, i am Jesus, dude, pay attention. So, um, I'm going to get on south 99 here. I'm not quite sure where I am, but I know I'm north of Fresno. So it's uh, f almost 4 o'clock, and I think I'm running out of steam. So, you know, three days in a row. I, I haven't done stuff three days in a row in a month of Sundays. So probably since even before the fire. So, um... I got the music on. I've got Eddie Vedder singing "I'm Still I'm Still Alive" uh, acoustically on an MTV uh, deal. Um, another one of the 197 songs 
I have in a particular YouTube folder that has incredible purposeful meaning to me. Now I want to point out on the left here, um, this is uh, the uh, high speed rail. Um, and I'm telling you Californians, you've been snookered. You have been snookered. Even if they end up building it all, it's going to cost billions of dollars more than it was sold. Uh, I voted no on it when I was here. Because I thought, no, there, it's just... It, it's just... You know, they talk about Europe and the trains in Europe, and Europe is a lot more dense. And we did ride the train in Europe, and it was awesome. But the idea that the light rail, or, 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 or the high-speed rail, is going to be... Um, from San Francisco to Los Angeles, basically, nobody has a clue where it's going to go from San Francisco south, whether uh, to San Jose and then over, or to Gilroy and then over the hills. And they have no idea how it's going to get over the hills from the Central Valley to paralleling 101. Nobody has a clue, and all I've seen is just billions and billions of dollars on the hook for Californians and what this virus taught us if it taught us anything is there's going to be a lot less face to face business and stuff because people are figuring out that you know maybe we don't need to spend all this money maybe having Zoom and that type of able to reach out to your people and the people you're selling to may be a better idea it's certainly cheaper it's just I think it's a boondoggle and I think you Californians are going to really bear the brunt of a terrible decision so it's unfortunate and you know what's everybody it doesn't go to Sacramento what the hell are you thinking about and by God, everybody going to Sacramento is paying for something they're not going to use. Now, uh, yeah, just awful. Anyway, that's my babble for today. We're southbound 99, and my God, we are almost to Fresno. So, we'll be done here soon, and we'll see if there's anything next. I had missed the turn to uh, eastbound 180 to take uh, northbound 41 to get back to the hotel, so I had to drive down and make a, a, a U-turn, so. Then I get in front of this guy. I wasn't pulling in front of that guy. Hell no! Here I am pulling into the uh, a Motel 6 on North Blackstone. There's a couple of them here in Fresno on, on Blackstone. But um, uh, the place is a dump, sadly. And uh, But I'm staying here, and you'll see why when I pull into the driveway that uh, there's a, a grassy area that Chico has just died and gone to heaven of. Uh, the first night he pulled me out here four times in the middle of the night to take a two-drop pee and then sniff for, uh, for five or ten minutes. God love him, he, he's in heaven. So here I am pulling into the spot. It was another productive day. And I'll decide tomorrow when I wake up if I want to mosey back to Lodi or, or if I want to just get on 99 and just bang it back up. So there you go.